Hey, what's going on guys? It is another vegan back with another video today And I apologize for the massive amount of congestion that is in my sinus right now But it is winter time out here in New York and it's cold. It's crazy cold out here Anyways, that is besides the point Let's get straight into the topic of today, which is flipping samples or loops and making them sound different and making them sound your own. Now, shout out to my guy Crips for the suggestion. He let me know in the comments what kind of video he would like to see, and I encourage you guys to do the same. Hold on. Before anything else, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, go down and click that subscribe button if you guys don't want to miss any content. I release new videos weekly, bi-weekly depending on my schedule. Anyways, let's go straight into FL Studio. All right guys, so now that we're in FL Studio, let's go Let's go ahead and actually listen to the original sample. I downloaded this off of Looperman. Honestly, I used to do this all the time when I first started making beats. I didn't really have the coolest VSTs. So let's go ahead and listen to this sample real quick. <laughs> All right, so that's the sample, and I'm going to take you guys through the process of what I did just to kind of, you know, make it sound like a little different. So the first thing that I did, you can obviously hear that there's some flanger, flanger, I don't know how you pronounce it, but some of that going on. One, I added some isotope vinyl, added some warp depth just to give it more of a kind of old, uh, detuned kind of feel. And then I did a very simple parametric EQ just to cut out those lows and cut out some of those highs and then recorded that into Edison. So here's what that sounded like by itself. So just a slight, slight difference, nothing too crazy. So let, let's go ahead and delete that. The next thing I did was take that recording and throw it into Fruity Slicer just to kind of move around the sample chops and give the sample like a different feel. Let's go into Fruity Slicer and see what I did here. So I pretty much just turned the attack up, turned the decay up, and we can honestly play with the, uh, with the time stretch and see how it sounds. But this is what I ended up getting. <clears throat> also, right before I forget, I also reversed some of these sample chops, so like the second one I did here, um, let's see, uh, number 10 I did here, and I also reversed the last two at the same time. And as far as processing and effects, let's go ahead and see what I did. I usually try to refrain from using like uh, kind of paid for third party effects because I know not everyone has them. So I try to use, you know, the stock sounds because that's what I started off with. I have some hardcore on here with a hot AC30 FG preset on there. Uh, these presets tend to be pretty harsh. So I pretty much have the mix level at like what, like 15%. I have a sound goodizer to kind of beef up the volume, turned it all the way up. Another parametric EQ, I boosted everything uh, about 6 dB. We have a cut again on the lows. We have a little dip at uh, 1363 hertz, and then a cut on the highs again. I have a halftime. Um, honestly, I prefer halftime over gross beat. Uh, I just feel like they kind of give you like a lot of little options when it comes to what you want to slow down. And then we have a delay two which i have the widen preset on just to kind of make it a little more stereo and then we have a fruity multi-band compressor in which i just bumped up the gain on the mid and the high bands just to make those mid to high frequencies stand out a little bit so here's what that sounds like now So that's what this sample sounds like now. Uh, it still kind of has that same vibe to it. Now what I also like to do, especially if I feel like I'm missing some high end in that melody, in that loop, whatever you want to call it, I will go ahead and record that once more and turn that duplicate an entire octave up. So here's the same thing, just one octave up and then I pretty much just added some reverb. And now both of those together sound like this.
Thank you guys for watching. I apologize for the congestion in my sinuses. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now, drop a like. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and play this little sample with these drums. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.